Hi guys, welcome back to one final screencast for uh, the Young Adult Literature course with Dr. Lassane. This one concerns the blog. Uh, you will create a blog site. If you have one that you've created for another course, you may use it again. Just add this particular assignment to it. At the blog, you're going to write about the 25 books that you read for the course. And uh, remember, some of those are required, some of those select from these authors, some of those are select from list. Your blog entries need to include the following, a bibliographic citation using correct APA format, the cover of the book using a JPEG that's at least 300 by 300 DPI, a brief summary of the book, 100 to 150 words that tell me about the contents of the book, some commentary on the strength of the book, using the criteria from the textbook. That's another 100 to 150 words. You may also include book trailers, other books along similar themes, other books by the author or within the same genre, teaching ideas, connections to the textbook or something you've read for the course. So uh, I am asking for a lot of information. This is basically where you show me that you've done the reading for the course. So let me go over to a sample one that I've created a couple of years ago for the course and uh, kind of review what I've got here with you and we can also talk a little bit about some of the other uh, kinds of aspects you might want to work with. I like Blogspot uh, because I have a Gmail account I can tie it to um, Blogger or Blogspot as it's called now and I can have multiple accounts there so this is my sample blog um, for young adult literature and I've already put in a, a, some of the information here. I've blogged two of the books that I've read, The Sherman Alexie Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian and Bob Cormier's The Chocolate War. Notice that what I've done here is that I've blogged about books that you will not be blogging about. I kind of hesitate to blog about your reading because I'm afraid that you'll think that that's exactly what you should do. Notice um, other pieces here ask you to put in a profile and a picture. Uh, I use a picture of Scout rather than a picture of me. He's much more photogenic. And notice that I also have the option of choosing design elements for this particular blog. So um, I can choose different backgrounds, and I have over the time from simple to things that are much more complex. And it's going to be up to you what you want to do, what your layout's going to be. Uh, I don't have a particular favorite. I do ask, however, when you're doing the design, just be careful that the design doesn't overtake the content. So fairly simple there to do any kind of a design in terms of what you're looking at right here. Uh, go back to viewing the blog so you can see what it looks like as a whole. Anytime I make a design change, I want to pull up the blog and I want to see how what I'm doing kind of lies on top of that template because I don't want it, like I said, ever to overshadow the books and the writing that I'm doing. So when you blog, remember there are pieces to the blog that you have to include. One is a JPEG of the book. Um, this is at least 300 by 300. I use Google Images to uh, collect my uh, JPEGs. Uh, Google Images, you can um, click on the image and it'll tell you how large it is in terms of DPI. And it's been my uh, experience that at least 300 by 300 won't appear pixelated when it shows up on your uh, page. So that's why I kind of suggest that. I have designed my blog so that the pictures are always on this side and that the blog kind of wraps around it to begin. You can put your pictures in the middle, on the, on the uh, right side instead of the left. Those are, those are things for you to decide. Notice here I have my bibliographic citation. It follows APA format. Uh, that's the second part. Third part is your summary of the book. Should be between 150, 100 to 150 words. Then the second part is your kind of response to the book. And notice that's about as long as the summary itself. Now, I have not included here any connections to the book because I've morphed this assignment over the years, but it would be easy enough to come in to do an edit. See, right there. And then to come out here, and let's see, let's just do 
Uh, let's do a Google. Oh, look at the Google thing for today. It's so cute, beach volleyball. Um, anyhow, what I'm looking for here is a book trailer for absolutely, whoops, I can't even type this morning, guys. And I'll bet, see, I knew there would be some here. So I can go out and just kind of grab one of these. Some of these are made by individuals. Some of them are made by the company that produces the book. It does not matter. Uh, I might include more than one. And then I'll go up and I'll grab. My kid wants to try out. Really? Let her throw off. I'll go ahead and grab that. And I'll come back here. And at the end of this post, I'll put in this. Here is a link to one of the book trailers for Alexi's novel. And I might also mention here, and again, another link that I can put in. So let me come back here because I want to do a search. Um, this one under images. And I want images for Thunderboy Junior. This is Alexi's new book. It is a picture book. And so I might, and by the way, do you see the DPIs just right down here? So you can see these are all 300, better than 300 by 300. So what I might want to do here is just save this image and add it as well. So when I come back to my edit the post, and this one's going to ask, insert an image, choose my files. Hopefully, you will choose a file, won't you? There we go. There's my file right there. Choose. Once it finishes filling in, add selected. Uh, say, I don't really care what alignment it has, just put it in there. Okay, and now update and preview. I hope I can preview it. It's taking a while. Technology is wonderful when it works, isn't it? Okay, so let me just see if it's happened here. Of course not, because we're still working on that. Anyhow, uh, I've got this here. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. Oh, maybe that's what's wrong. All right, so update. Let's see if it'll take it now. Yay! And let me view on the blog. Sometimes you just have to read the descriptions on the screen. So um, you can see I have uh, two in here. I've got, um, I've got the cover of the new book, and I also have a link to the book trailer in here as well. So you can uh, do the basics if you want for the books as you read them. Put in uh, the annotation, the summary. Uh, put in certainly the JPEG. Put in the um, bibliographic citation. Put in your response to the book. And then you can go back in and you can fill in other details later. This thing is constantly editable. So I hope this will give you some idea of how you tackle this assignment on the blog. Again, if you have any questions, ask. I am here to help you.